So uh, let me introduce RT View, our new tool. Uh, it's a replacement for Live View. So uh, let me introduce <laughs> the history of this. You know, nobody likes to read the logs. Even developers don't like it. Trust me. That's why we created Live View. This uh, UI for Node, as far as I understand, all of you guys saw this picture. I saw a lot of uh, screenshots in Twitter after Shelly was released about this uh, UI for Node, which allows us to see what's going on. But we have three main problems. First, Unix only. So it's technically impossible to run it on, win uh, on Windows because of uh, some implementation limitations. Second, it is a part of a node itself. Uh, so if you have a cluster from, let's say, 10 nodes, you have to open 10 terminals and somehow see what's going on with these 10 nodes in 10 places. And uh, the third problem is a terminal-based UI. It's very limited because terminal is for text. It's not for UI, let's be honest. So that's why uh, we created RTView. Uh, it's a better UI. RTView means real-time view. And all three problems from Live View has three solutions in RTView. First of all, it's a cross-platform. Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, just download one single archive and pack it and run one single executable. That's it. No log installation, no building. Interactive dialog uh, for configuration. Very user-friendly. The second idea, it is a separate application. It's not a part of Cardano Node. It doesn't even have any dependencies on Cardano Node, technically. It means that we can run a cluster from any number of nodes and run one single instance of RTView application and connect all these nodes and all these nodes will send their metrics to one single instance of RTView and RTView will display it on web-based UI. No more text, no more terminals, just normal browser on any device. Uh, so uh, it means that if RTV runs on some uh, machine with web server, uh, you can just uh, grab your phone and open its browser and see what's going on with your notes. So let me demonstrate how it looks like. Uh, currently, the simplest possible uh, case, I run the simplest possible uh, local cluster on my machine from three nodes. And I open this web page and I see these three panels, each panel for the node. And I can see this information about different kinds of metrics that, uh, that was received from nodes. I can see some guess. Uh, uh, it is under active development, so now, uh, as you can see, there is no uh, complete information uh, about CAS, but it will be improved. We can see uh, peers information, blockchain information, or, for example, memory, CPU, or disk activity, or network activity. Uh, uh, moreover, if you want to compare some metrics uh, received from uh, uh, some of nodes, you can switch to grid view. It's just a table where columns are corresponding to nodes. And you can, for example, see only node 1 and node 3. Let's remove node 2. And let's remove some node very interesting metrics. And you can just compare side by side these numbers. So uh, that's it. Uh, it's under active development now. It will be released very soon. 
but it is available now so you can grab an Akai for your platform and you can play with it right now uh, I hope it will be released next week uh, so that's it so any, any questions for Dennis I, I asked how long the data is being preserved so uh, 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 it was in a text message thanks Peter. Dennis how long is the data preserved uh, currently, uh, currently, uh, for example, if we open these uh, charts about uh, system resources consumed by the node, uh, currently it stores an information for three, uh, 30 minutes, but it will be improved in the future. So user will be able to see the time period he wants to uh, see what's going on. For example, uh, if we want to see uh, probably if there are some CPU or memory spikes, for example, five hours ago, we, we can just open it and see. Uh, but, uh, but currently, uh, these charts about resources uh, store information about 30 minutes. And that's uh, just like live view where basically the calendars are reset um, every time you restart the node. So you don't have historical view after you um, restart the node, right, Dennis? Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Uh, there is no history. So if you reload your cluster, uh, RTView thinks that uh, it's a genesis of times. Any other questions for Dennis? Uh, uh, I can ask a quick one, sorry. Yeah, go um, ahead. Just Dennis, that that actually looks pretty pretty impressive. Um, you know, creating that yourself. So I'm just wondering if if that's open source, because um, you know, obviously, uh, us SPOs were a bit paranoid in um, you know just running some arbitrary code to host uh, an additional service running on on whatever nodes, um, even if it's just tapping into the underlying metrics. Uh, is, it, is there like a GitHub repository? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, it's completely open source, uh, and it's uh, licensed under Apache 2, like Cardano, for example. Sweet. Looking forward to the link. Well, thank, thanks, Dennis. I think I think you deserve a round of applause from everyone for, for your hard work. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> 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 <laughs>